So I just want to first touch base with you guys about why is it that we do pogles, okay? Why, what are some things that is not about necessarily um, about a specific content piece, but think of more of like a skill? Okay, and what is some important skills that are needed for working with other people? So communication, I, I'm gonna write that down. What else? Sarah? Decisiveness. I like it. So what is what in your own words, what would you how would you define decisiveness? So picking the best? Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other? Jeff? I would say this might go under communication too, but teamwork. Teamwork, yeah. Um, so think to yourself right now, what does good teamwork look like and what does bad teamwork look like? Okay, just think to yourself right now. Not, not any hands, but just think to yourself. Picture like good teamwork bad teamwork. And if you take a moment and just share first what good teamwork looks like at your group and then share what you picture bad teamwork looks like. Okay, 30 seconds, go. No, it didn't, a little more. You, you know, you just talk like for like five seconds. I'll, in fact, I'll stand here and listen to the ideas. So go ahead. Charles, what did you say? I said working together. What does that mean? Interacting with one another. Okay. Helping each that, other. Helping each ideas. other. How do you help each other? Like a bill of all of each other. Oh. Okay. How does it good one? What else? What's, uh, what's bad to you look like? Then? Working as an individual. Okay. Okay. Anyone want to share what they, their group said? How about Jake T? What did your group say? What was a good team look like? Good teamwork. Um, when you're not talking, you're staying focused. Okay. Is that teamwork or is that staying on task? Okay. Although that good teams usually probably stay on task, right? Okay. Autumn, what did your group say about good teamwork? What does it look like? Um, that everyone's on the same question. Say that one more time. Everyone's like on the same question. Okay. Each other. Okay. Olivia, good teamwork. We said uh, everyone's on the same problem and helping each other with the problem. Okay, that's what she just said. Can yeah. you another one? You have any others? Like, um, like bouncing ideas off of each other. Okay. All right, what's bad teamwork look like? Um, Ambria. Um, when, like, only one person is doing all the work, and then it's just, it's just happening. So coattails, right? Riding the coattails. Okay. You know what that means? Yeah. Riding coattails means it's like an old expression. It just, I don't know if I have this exactly right, but it just means that you are, Think of coattails as they, the part of a coat that kind of like hangs down on the ground, old old school kind of like robes or coats, okay? And you're just riding on it, you know? So you're not doing any work, but you're getting the benefits. Okay. So I'm gonna also throw in here relationships, and that's gonna bring us into what this pogel is all about. Relationships. Do you, does it mean you have to love everybody that you're working with to have a positive relationship? Do you have to even like them? For a good relationship in a Pogo group, the best way is just that you have decided that you will work together. You won't work against each other that you'll have a, at least for the moment, you'll have a positive relationship with each other. 
Okay. Um, that brings us into this one. So think of the ecosystems. There's going to be positive relationships and there's going to be negative relationships. And there's going to be really neutral relationships. Can you think of anything that would be a negative relationship between two different animals or two different species? Okay, so there's a negative one there, right? If you get a tapeworm, that's kind of negative for you. That's a parasite, right? Good for the tapeworm, bad for the, for the, for the host, right? What is similar to that, where one organism is benefited in a relationship and the other one is hurt? Predator versus prey, right? Obviously, you know, the gazelle is not benefiting in the relationship with a cheetah, right? Not a really good relationship for them. Great for the, for the cheetah, though, okay? So there's going to be a situation where there's positive and negatives. Can you, ever, can you ever think of one that's a positive and a positive? Both are benefiting? I forget what the bird's called too, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's a there's an alligator, a species of alligator that keeps its mouth open, and there's a species of bird that flies into its mouth, right, and picks out, what, how, how is that good for the, the alligator? Okay, so it gets his teeth clean. Those are the dentists, right? How is it good for the bird? It's getting food, partially digested food too, right? Not really too much. They don't have like the saliva that we do. But you get the idea. There's a positive and a negative relationship, okay? And there's a positive and positive relationship. Do you think of anything where there's a one species that positive, and the other species like, yeah, I don't really care, doesn't bother me. Positive and like a neutral. Do you have any species that work together like that? Maybe something like a moss on a tree. I'm trying to think. I think the moss would be hurting the tree in that case. But I get the idea that you're saying that it just providing a place to live, right? Barnacles. What are barnacles? Yeah, they're on boats, yep. Find them on boats. Kind of like zebra mussel, but they're a little bit different. You know, they attach things, but... Barnacles and whales have the same kind of relationship, okay? You're, anyone ever gone on a whale watch or a whale boating trip? Ever seen a whale up close? How many people have seen a whale a little bit closer than normal? Have you seen barnacles on them? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Yeah. Just yeah? Okay. <laughs> um, so it doesn't hurt the whale at all. But why is the barnacle given a boost? gets supplied to new places for food, right? Because they're what are called filter feeders. So they have like this little feathery kind of thing that sticks out of the opening. I mean, you don't see it too much because by the time you're seeing it, it's above water and those things are closed up to prevent any water loss, right? So, but when they're in the ocean, these little feathery things will reach out and like grab whatever small things are floating by, little tiny little particles, and that's what they feed on. But if they're always in the same spot, then you know they're going to feed on all the things that are right around it, and then there's going to be nothing really around it. They got to wait till something else comes to it. But by traveling along on a whale or in a boat, you know they are getting that more supply of food all the time. Okay. So this pogle is going to be all about relationships in ecosystems, and that's what it's actually called: is relationships in ecosystems. Or, I'm sorry, ecological relationships. So, um, same rules apply here. As usual, I want you guys working together. Pick a spokesperson. Okay, go ahead and begin.